Sir, we're just asking people about uh, Donald Trump's announcement that uh, transvestites are no longer welcome in the U.S. Armed Forces. What do you think about that? Any of Donald Trump's views I do not support. Any of them? No, he can go fuck himself. Him and Trudeau. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Well, pack your bags, Corporal Klinger. Your Section 8 has finally arrived. In a cost-cutting move, Donald Trump has said that transvestites are no longer welcome to join the U.S. Armed Forces. And what do members of Generation Trudeau After Dark have to say about that one? Let's find out. What do you think about that? I think that the transvestites can do whatever the heck they want to do. Well, evidently this is a cost-cutting move because this is very costly yeah. for the Army. So yeah. is there merit in, uh, you know, getting these people out of the armed forces? Megan? <laughs> I don't think so because if, okay, wait, if it was cost-cutting, they would have cut women too a long time ago. There are so many stipulations into being to, like in the Army. Like you, ha if you have bad acne, you can't be in the Army. If you have bad acne, you can't be in the Army? Acne, flat feet, there's just so I many think, stipulations. I think if you have the pride to support our country, I don't care if you're a woman, if you're a man, if you whatever you would like to be, if you want to support our country and if you want to fight for our country, then you have the power to do so. Yes. Isn't it true, though, that uh, some of these people are struggling with mental issues and the idea of them being around automatic weapons might not be a good idea? I also think there's a large part of our country that doesn't support the people that decide to make the choice to transition from a woman to a man or a man to a woman. And because of that, it can lead to mental issues. I'm a psychology student, so I kind of study that. And because of the lack of support, that's what leads to the issues. Anybody that chooses to do what they would like to do is supported and can do whatever they set their mind to. I think it's a terrible call and okay. I, I like how uh, Canada rebounded and said that you know uh, everybody's welcome in the Canadian military. Yeah I think the Canadian military tweeted diversity is our strength. Yeah. Do you believe that? Oh it's great yeah. Oh yeah. If you're an army isn't your strength your strength? Exactly. Oh for sure. 100%. But you said diversity is our strength. Oh now you're making me eat my words. Let's go. <laughs> I think I out-debated him. So you supported then, sir? I don't know if no, I don't know if enough about it. You know, oh, I'm not going to be that ignorant guy that just comments on nothing. You know. How about yourself, sir? What do you think about Donald Trump's announcement to uh, Donald, Donald keep Trump. trans people out of the army? Yeah, no, no. I... Send them in first. <laughs> Send them in first for fuck's sake. Listen, dummy. Listen to me, Donald Trump. Do tell. Uh, you got a homo there, transgender, all that stuff? You put them in their own fucking platoon, when shit hits the fence, send them in as a wall. Oh, so you want them as cannon fodder then, sir? Yes. 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 Listen. Holy mackerel. Listen, listen, it's like this. If I got a choice to go into a trench with a lesbian or a gay, I'm taking a lesbian. Because she'll shoot that motherfucker and might blow me. But a guy, he's going to drop the fucking gun and surrender like a Frenchman. So I don't think it's really fair. It's a little bit stupid. Because everybody, like, I could walk into that shit and be like, you know what? I'm a chick. I'm 18 years old. I'm fucking, I'm dipping out on this. Are you currently identifying as a chick right now, sir? No. Transgender people are not welcome in the U.S. Uh, armed Forces anymore. It's not very nice. To uh, ban transvestites from the uh, U.S. Yes. Do you agree with that movement? Yeah. Are you crazy, dude? And what, what is your reason, sir? Multiculturalism is Toronto. Yeah. Oh, multiculturalism is Toronto. What do you say about that, sir? Toronto has made the world a better place. What do you think about that? Yeah. You know what? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with him because I don't want to disagree at this point in time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Trump Wait a minute. You've allowed this man to change your opinion in yeah. two seconds? Donald Trump looks like he pissed on his own head. You know, we have the numbers for how much they're spending on transgender, and we have the number for how much they're spending on Viagra. But I want to see how much per person. Okay. Do you understand me? What if some of the transgender people need the Viagra? Like double dipping. Huh. I was watching an interview CNN had the other day, right? If you're talking about someone that has the skills, the ability, has the training, has spent years in the army trying to, to fight for their country, when you think the cost of booting them out of the army would have been greater than, I don't even know what like medical costs are talking about anyways. If you're quoting CNN, who am I to doubt the uh, honesty and the veracity of CNN? There's a role for everybody in the army. Whether they're man, whether they're women, whether they're you man, half woman, it doesn't matter. But why does the taxpayer have to pay for that? There's a lot worse things 
that our taxes are put towards than transgender. I'll be honest. Such as? Such as anything else. <laughs> I'll be honest.